Number three, Nifty Mo. They're off and pacing. Pirate Dominique left well for the lead in between horses. Nifty Mohawk is there. Three deep into the turn. One hot tamale. Fox Valley Rouge along the rail now. Third. One hot tamale parked in fourth. Dreamy Victory closing the gap. Fifth. Rush Creek Meter is the early triller as they race into the stretch for the first time. It's Pirate Dominique leading. Nifty Mohawk looks to drop in second. Fox Valley Rouge says no room here. And now Nifty Mohawk moves up to take the lead. The opening quarter was in 28 and 3. It's Nifty Mohawk on the outside, Pirate Dominique on the inside, and Doug Hamilton gives Nifty Mohawk a crack of the whip, and they now take the lead almost the length. Pirate Dominique still holding the inside second. Fox Valley, Fox Valley Rouge is off the rail a bit third. Dreamy Victory fourth. One hot tamale fifth. Rush Creek Meter still trails the field. They curve on to the back stretch, and Fox Valley Rouge with a rush now moves up to challenge Nifty Mohawk for the lead, 59 and 2 for the half. It's Fox Valley Rouge leading. There goes Dreamy Victory now ranging up on the outside. Also on the move is One Hot Tamale. Nifty Mohawk along the inside is fading on the outside. Rush Creek Meter. Pirate Dominique has been pushed and shuffled back. Into the far turn, there goes One Hot Tamale now taking the lead. Around the far turn, One Hot Tamale draws away by two on the outside. Rush Creek meter second. Three quarters, 129 and two. They turn for home. It's One Hot Tamale leading Rush Creek meter racing second. Here comes Pirate Dominique into third. Fox Valley Rouge losing ground for Dreamy Victory. Fifth inside the eighth pole. One Hot Tamale leads a length and a half. Rush Creek Meter is coming to her on the outside, second with Pirate Dominique, third. Your leader is One Hot Tamale. She's a bit rough, but she's going to win it by two. Rush Creek Meter, second, Pirate Dominique, finish third. They're off and pacing with ideal turn and taker's choice, driving up for the lead from the far outside. Pick a lily and Fox Valley Tizzy left, looking for early spots. They're battling for the lead and position. Pick a lily three wide, take taker's choice in between horses. Moving up on the outside is Fox Valley Tizzy. Ideal turn holds the rail fourth. Vicky Nordland came away fifth with Poco Charm sixth. Velvet Swing 7th, Wedding Present 8th, Highland Park 4th is the early trailer. The opening quarter in a blistering 28-4. and four. Piccalilli has the lead under a heavy urging of Ken Peters, but can't clear Taker's Choice. They've paced 3 eighths of a mile. Piccalilli on the outside. Taker's Choice holding the inside. Right there in third is Ideal Turn. Fox Valley Tizzy's loving this early battle. She's right there in fourth. In fifth is Vicky Nordland. Two lanes back, Poco Charm 6, Velvet Swing on the move 7th, Highland Park 4 8th, Wedding Present Trails 59 and 3 for the half. Midway on the back stretch, Taker's Choice leads, Fox Valley Tizzy now storming with a smart move, moving 3 wide, 4th, 3rd now, 2nd, Fox Valley Tizzy now takes the lead, Taker's Choice drops back 2nd, Joel Smith is begging for room with ideal turn, now there's an opening on the inside and 4th, Vicky Nordland. Highland Park is three wide. Wedding present back to sixth on the outside. Velvet Swing has to go three wide behind the fading Piccalilli. Trailing the field, Poco Charm. Three quarters, one thirty flat. Around the turn, they're in the stretch. It's Fox Valley Tizzy leading by three. Taker's Choice trying to come back second. Racing third, Vicky Nordland. Wedding present closing along the rail. But Fox Valley Tizzy has the lead. Taker's Choice makes one final move. Wedding present on the inside. A late move by Velvet Swing. Fox Valley Tizzy in front. Close for second between Wedding Present 
Taker's choice, very close for second. They're up and pacing. She's a honey two out for the lead on the inside. Lake Hills Tammy came away second along the rail. Heavy and oil with Glenn Doche moving up on the outside. Fourth, Bear Bait settles in fifth on the outside, dropping in sixth. Ring a ling. She's now parked. Along the inside in seventh, answer to the wind in eighth position. Corky's Young Wolf Misty Fire and Ices, the early trailer. As they enter the stretch and move by the opening quarter in 27 and 4. Lake Hills Tammy in a bit of a hurry here, and she leads by three. Heavy and oil racing second by about six. Make that she's a honey two in second by about six. Heavy and oil is racing third. Bear bait in fourth. Glendocha racing in fifth. Ringling sixth. Answer to the win seventh. Corky's Young Wolf eighth, and Misty Fire and Ice still can see them all. Over to the half mile pole they race. Your leader is Lake Hills Tammy. She's a honey two racing second. Half was in 58 and two. On the back stretch, Lake Hills Tammy a length and a quarter. She's a honey two racing second. Bear bait gains ground third. Glenn Doche moves up on the outside fourth. Heavy and oil along the rail fifth. On the outside six, Misty Fire and Ice. Answer to the win gains ground seventh. Corky's Young Wolf eight still trailing the field is Misty Fire and Ice. Around the far turn, it's Glenn Doche moving up to put his head in front off. Three quarters, one, 28 and three. Glenn Doche has her head in front, all holding the inside. Second is Lake Hills Tammy as they turn for home. Glenn Doche draws away by two. Lake Hills Tammy will try and hold second. Bear bait closing ground third. On the outside and fourth is Ringaling looking for racing room. Corky's Young Wolf far outside answer to the win and Misty Fire and Ice. That's Ringaling now getting the lead. Here comes answer to the wind. Ringaling in front. It'll be close for second answer to the win maybe over Corky's Young Wolf. They're up and pacing Dusky Bread and Hop and Hale drive out for the lead. In between those two, Uncle Murph came away well. Moving up on the outside is Young Bro Special and still further out, Shannon Intruder. He's now caught three wide. They're battling for the lead and position. Young Bro Special on the outside, Dusky Bread on the inside. Uncle Murph settles in third, Hop and Hale fourth. Shannon Intruder parked on the outside, fifth and sixth along the inside is Trunk. Racing to the outside, seven, Trouble Sun in eighth position, Spirit of Adventure, What a Water Trails. Horses are moving three wide here, and What a Water is caught three wide as Trunk pulls. They paced three-eighths of a mile. That opening quarter was in 27 and three. Into the club turn, it's Dusky Brett leading a length. Uncle Murph in second on the outside. Trunk gains ground third. Young Bro Special on the rail, fourth. On the outside, Trouble Sun is fifth. Hop and Hale shuffled sixth. Spirit of Adventure out there, seventh. In eighth position on the outside of horses, What a Water trailing is Shannon Intruder, 59 and three for the half. They're in the final three eighths of a mile, and Trunk now takes the lead a half length. Dusky Bread holds the rail, second. Uncle Murph begins to look for racing room, third. Trouble Sun hanging on the outside, fourth. Young Bro Special, no place to go. Fifth, Spirit of Adventure is about to go. Three wide, six by three quarters. One, 28 and one. Third quarter, 28 and three. They turn for home. It's Trunk leading by two lanes. Dusky Brett trying to come on again. Second, Uncle Murph tips to the outside. Third, Young Bro Special on the rail. Fourth, an eighth of a mile out. 
trunks under a heavy whip, dusky breads closing on the outside, Uncle Murph's coming on fastest of all, that's Uncle Murph now taking the lead, trunk racing second, what a water is gaining, it's Uncle Murph in front, trunk second, what a water up for third. They're up and pacing Seviat fast for the lead along the inside. Rio Bird came away second, settling in third is Mess Sergeant. In fourth is Ascendant coming away fifth. Major Majestic, Foolish Baron drops in sixth. Stylish Shine, Armbro Expo, and Cam Brayan make up the field of nine as they enter the stretch for the first time. Sevy leads by two and a half lengths. Rio Bird on the chase. Second, Mess Sergeant is third as they race by an opening quarter in 28 and four. By the grandstands and out of the finish wire the first time. Sevy by a length and a quarter. Rio Bird moves it closer. Second, Mess Sergeant drives from third. Ascendant moves up with cover fourth on the outside. Major Majestic third over in fifth. Foolish Baron saving ground but showing no pace on the rail. On the outside in seventh is Stylish Shine. Armbro Expo is about seven lengths off the lead and still trailing the field. Cam Brayan. 59 and 3 for the half mile. Mess Sergeant moving fast on the outside to challenge and put his head in front. Sevy trying to hold him off. Second ascendant gains in third. Real Bird and no place to go. Fourth on the outside in fifth. Major Majestic. In sixth is Stylish Shine, Armbro Expo, still about seven off the lead. Losing ground, Foolish Baron, Cambran still can see them all. They pass three quarters, 128 flat. They turn for home, Mess Sergeant leads by a length and a half. Here comes Major Majestic, ranging up second, ascending along the rail. Stylish Shine is wide for the drive from far back, Cambran and Armbro Expo. Your leader is Mess Sergeant. Here comes Stylish Shine with Major Majestic moving in between horses. That's Sil Stylish Shine now taking the lead with Major Majestic second. Cambran closing on the outside to get up for third. Approaching the start. And there go the Pacers. That's rings a bell away quickly for the lead between horses. Russian Beauty, far outside Amrit, Well Manor drives for an early spot. Now it's Russian Beauty to get the lead. Amaret Wellmanner moves alongside to challenge second. Rings a bell came away third, four lengths. Zona Leona racing a bit wide out there fourth. Fox Valley Jasmine, two lengths. Woody's Lil, another two, Carolyn's Conquest. A gap two, Bobby Brown Sugar, the trailer mile a minute. They go by the opening quarter, 28 and four. And your leader is Amaret Wellmanner by the quarter. Amaret Wellmanner, Tony Morgan. They lead a length. Russian Beauty now drives. Out to get the lead back. Russian Beauty by the stands for the first time. Regains the lead a length. Amrit Wellmanner pacing in second. The long shot rings a bell. Racing in third. Zona Leona fourth. Fox Valley Jasmine is now on the move to the half. Three lengths. Woody's Lil moves up. Carolyn's Conquest nearest the rail. Bobby Brown Sugar in mile a minute. The Brothers McGee racing 8-9. They go by the half. 101 flat. Now it's Amrit Wellmanner once again. To get that top spot, Amrit Wellmanner leads by two. Russian Beauty yields in second. The favorite, Fox Valley Jasmine out there third. Bobby Brown Sugar surges three wide fourth. Rings a bell, drops back fifth. Woody's Lil comes on four lengths, mile a minute. They race into the three quarters, and it's Amrit Wellmanner pacing strongly on the front end. Three quarters, 129 and three. Around the turn, they're in the stretch. Amrit Wellmanner leads a length. 
Russian Beauty once again swings out for the drive. Coming on, Fox Valley Jasmine towards the inside rings a bell. Final eighth of a mile. Fox Valley, make that Amrit. Wellman are on top by two. Fox Valley Jasmine is charging. Now that's Fox Valley Jasmine up to get the lead. Amrit Wellmanner digs in. Fox Valley Jasmine in front. Amrit Wellmanner second. Woody's Lil up for third. They're up and pacing. Fox Valley Contessa out fast for the lead. Springtime sale came away well with Sweet Caroline B on the outside third. My Tut Tut came away fourth. Penny Seal drops in fifth. Lucy Long Leg six. Sarah B's Park now drops in seventh. In eighth position, Wedderwood Jano Queen trails a battle for the lead. Springtime sale now takes the lead. Sweet Caroline B moves up to challenge second. Racing in third, Fox Valley Contessa, 29 and 2 for the opening quarter. Sweet Caroline B now takes the lead as they race under the finish wire the first time. Racing in second, springtime sale, Fox Valley Contessa, third, my tut tut, fourth. Penny Seal racing fifth, Sarah B's on the outside looking for cover. Lucy Longlegs, no place to go along the rail. What a wood to the outside, eight still trailing the field, Jane O'Queen. Move over to the half mile pole. Sweet Caroline B takes them there in 101 and 2. They come on to the back stretch. Sweet Caroline B leads My Tut Tut now storming out there. Third now second. My Tut Tut with a strong brush now takes the lead. Sweet Caroline B just can't hold her off. Springtime sail on the rail. Third Sarah B out there. Fourth along the inside. Fifth Fox Valley Contessa racing in sixth is Waterwood Penny Seal back to seventh. In eighth position, Jane O'Queen, Lucy Longlegs, trails, three quarters, one, thirty flat. Third quarter, twenty-eight and three, they turn for home. My Tut Tut shows the way into the stretch by a length and a half. Sweet Caroline B getting set to come out second. Racing in third, Sarah B with springtime sail fourth. My Tut Tut has the lead. Sweet Caroline B's trying to come out on the outside. Springtime sail along the rail third. It's My Tut Tut with the lead at the wire. Sweet Caroline B, second and springtime sale, finish third. They're up and pacing with Cypress Point, driving out for the lead. And between horses, Donna Jean Direct came away second, good chairman third. And they'll drop in post position order as they race around the far turn the first time. Cypress Point leads a length and a half. Donna Jean Direct racing second, good chairman is third and fourth. Miss Chris there, Nia Cision fifth, Tyler Starr sixth, brand new Duchess seventh. Nice and red is eighth. They're in post position order by the opening quarter. 29 and 2 through the stretch for the first time. Here comes Good Chairman moving fast to challenge Cypress Point for the lead. And Good Chairman now takes the lead. Cypress Point yields in second. Racing third is Donna Jean Direct. Nia Cision on the outside looking for cover fourth. On the inside and fifth, Miss Chris Dare. Tyler Starr gains ground with cover on the outside sixth. Brand new Duchess seven. Nice and rides about seven lengths off the lead. Cypress Point says, I want the lead, and Cypress Point reclaims the lead by half in a minute and two. Midway on the back stretch, it's Cypress Point leading by two on the inside. Good chairman, second ahead, Nia Cision gains ground third. Tyler Starr on the outside would cover fourth. He's just two off the lead. Down to Gene Direct, no place to go. Three wide, brand new Duchess moves up sixth. On the outside, nice and red gains ground. Seven, Miss Chris there trails. It's a bunching field around the fire turn. They pass three quarters and one, 30 and two. 
third quarter, 30 flat on the outside, brand new Duchess on the inside, Cypress Point holding firm and they turn for home. Cypress Point on the lead, brand new Duchess on the outside, second in between horses, Nia Sissions gaining ground with good chairman along the rail. Cypress Point leads, Nia Sission on the inside, closing ground, here comes good chairman and Cypress Point went on a break. Good Chairman leads on the outside, Nia Sijin. That's Good Chairman in front, Nia Sijin second, close for third. They're up and pacing K's overtime, ideal colors, and typical attorney drive out for the lead. Private Rosewood settles in along the rail, fourth. Late night caller, fifth. Justin C, three wide, sixth. Rio Hawk in between those two, and trailing the field is duo Golden Nugget. And to the stretch for the first time, typical attorney moves up now to take the lead. Ideal colors yields in second. Racing third is K's overtime up on the outside. Justin C's moving fast. Quarter 29 and 3. Justin C says, I want the lead. And Justin C says, I'm getting the lead. Under the finish wire the first time. Justin C leads by two. Typical attorney racing. Second ideal colors third. K's overtime fourth. Private Rosewood fifth. Duo Golden Nugget to the outside. Sixth late night caller shuffled seventh. Rio Hawk trails, but is on the move. They move over to the half. Justin C. going along comfortably. A length and a quarter on top off. A half and a minute and one-fifth. Midway on the back stretch. Justin C. a length and a quarter. Typical attorney racing. Second on the outside. Duo Golden Nugget moves up third. Ideal colors. No place to go fourth. Rio Hawk on the outside. Fifth case overtime along the rail. Getting shuffled sixth. Late night caller to the outside, seven private Rosewood has been shuffled to last. Five lengths would cover the eight pacers as they race around the fire turn and move by three quarters, one, thirty and two. They turn for home, Justin C. holding firm, three wide, here comes Rio Hawk in between horses, duo Golden Nugget, they're in the stretch, Justin C. leads by a length, Rio Hawk's closing on the outside, typical attorney looking for racing room, closing ground, ideal colors, that's Rio Hawk getting the lead. Here comes Ideal Colors and Typical Attorney on the inside. That's Rio Hawk with the lead. Typical Attorneys closing on the inside. Rio Hawk and Typical Attorney, Ideal Colors third. Far back trailing at the start, Polo Mobile. They're up and trotting. Gum Corner Lad left well for the lead. Chargerette moves through along the rail on the outside. Three deep, Mighty Oak Sampson. Alertly saving ground on the rail as Delco skip as they battle for position. Chargerette now has put all others behind her and she leads by two. Gum Corner Lad second on the outside. Fox Valley Emperor hustling up third. Delco skip fourth. Miss Speedway on the outside and fifth. In sixth along the inside is Mighty Oak Sampson trotting seventh back to class. It's a seven length gap to Federal Arsenal followed by Polo Mobile and trailing the field by the opening quarter was Heather Claude. In the quarter trotted 29 and one off stride. Fox Valley Emperor, Fox Valley Emperor is off stride. They bank around the club turn, charge right in control by almost two gum corner lads stalking her second Miss Speedway on the outside third. Delco skip a close up fourth, back to class, now moving on the outside, fifth. Mighty Oak Sampson with the leader, six. Federal Arsenal into contention, seven. Far, far back are Polo Mobile, Heather Claude, and Fox Valley Emperor, 59 and two for the half. 
They're in the final three-eighths of a mile. Charger at leads a length and a quarter. Gum Corner Lad getting a golden trip tonight. Second, Miss Speedway's fading in third. Three wide, Federal Arsenal charging on the outside. Fourth, now moving third, now moving second. They pass three quarters, 129 and three. They turn for home. Charger at leads, Federal and Arsenal right alongside second. Gum Corner Lad's going to have to tip three deep. Delco Skip is fourth. They're in the stretch. Federal Arsenal now takes the lead on the outside. Closing ground is Gum Corner Lad. Chargerette still there along the rail. Closing ground is Mighty Oak Sampson and back to class. Here comes Gum Corner Lad moving fastest of all. And Gum Corner Lad is going to win the Lord Stewart as he draws away by a length on the wire. Federal Arsenal second and Chargerette finish third. They're up and pacing, sipping soda left well with Renwick between horses driving up from the center of the track. Masked Miss is fastest of all. Masked Miss now takes the lead. Renwick drops in second, sipping soda two lengths back third. Racing in fourth is Blazing Riot. Sassy Janine fifth, Flashy two came away sixth. Lonely Lady seventh, Mary Bar Chrysalie eighth, and trailing the field is Prairie Melissa. They move by the opening quarter in 28 and 4 by the grandstands in order to finish wire the first time. Mask Miss leads by a length. Renwick stalking her second by two. Sippin' Soda still third. Blazing Riot fourth. Sassy Janine out looking for cover fifth. On the outside, Flashy two has cover six. Saving ground seventh. Lonely Lady. Prairie Melissa eight trailing the field. Mary Barr, Chrysa Lee. Over to the half mile, Ron Marsh keeps Masked Lady up top a length by a half and a minute and four. They curve on to the back stretch, Masked Lady a length on the outside. There goes Blazing Riot moving up second. Renwick holds the rail second ahead, Blazing Riot hanging in third. Along the inside, Sippin' Soda fourth. On the outside, Sassy Janine fifth. She's three lengths off the lead. Flashy two's back on the rail, sixth. On the outside, Prairie Melissa seventh. Lonely Lady and Mary Bar, Chris Lee, the trailing pair. They move by three quarters in one thirty and four. Masked Lady leads the length. Renwick looking for racing room. Second, hanging third, Blazing Riot. Sassy Janine's wide for the drive, and they're in the lane. Masked Lady leads. Sassy Janine's closing on the outside. Renwick drives in between horses. It's Sassy Janine moving up on the outside. Renwick between horses. Masked Lady along the rail. That's Sassy Janine with the lead as they come down to the wire. It's Sassy Janine in front. Masked Lady holds on the second, and Renwick finished third.